Good morning. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Happy Easter. Let us pray. Bless now the words of my lips and the meditations of our hearts and minds, that all that we say and think and do will be acceptable in thy sight and glorify thee, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. The reading for this morning, Easter Sunday, is from Mark chapter 16, verses 1 through 8. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome had bought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came unto the tomb at the rising of the sun. And they said among themselves, Who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the tomb? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. And entering into the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were affrighted. And he saith unto them, Be not affrighted, ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen, he is not here. Behold the place where they laid him, but go your way, tell his disciples and Peter, that he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him, as he said unto you. And they went out quickly, and fled from the sepulchre, for they trembled and were amazed. Neither said they anything to any man, for they were afraid. The Gospel of the Lord. Be not afraid, for Jesus is risen. Now go and tell. These first two women, who were called to be the first evangelists, were to go and tell the disciples that Jesus was risen. For those who have read the whole story will know that the disciples are possibly hiding out somewhere in fear for their own lives, that what happened to Jesus might happen to them as well, but they won't be in fear for long. They will hear the good news and they will in fact meet the risen Jesus and then they will go very boldly forth telling the whole world the good news that this Jesus who is crucified for our sins is risen. He is risen from the dead. And from then on down through the many generations to us, this good news has been shared. You know, I hear and read that the church is dying. I don't believe it. The church is not dying. Maybe the chaff and the wheat might be being separated, but the church is not dying. The church is Christ. It is his body. He is risen, and he is not subject to another death. He died once for all, and now he lives for all. The church lives, and it will continue to live for all of eternity. Thanks be to God, for Jesus is Lord. Amen.